purpose of this video is to demonstrate that given a line segment AB, it is possible to bisect that segment using only compass and straight edge. Let me show you how that's done. First of all, take your compass and position the point at point B. Open the compass so that it's at least half as large as the line segment and then draw an arc atop the line and also below the line like that. Now, repeat that procedure except this time put your point of the compass at point A. Draw that segment and draw that segment of the circle. Now you see that those two segments that I've drawn on top intersect as do the ones on the bottom. With my straight edge, which takes the form of my Elvis bookmark, I'm going to connect this point to this point down here, and I assert that I have bisected the line segment from A to B. Well, are you convinced? I hope not, but let me try to convince you at this point. Let's label this intersection of these two lines E. Now my objective is to show that AE is the same as EB. In order to do that, I'm going to put my pencil up on top and connect it to point A, and then connect point A to this point on the bottom, and then connect the point on the bottom to point B, and then connect point B to the point on top. Now I have a number of triangles here. I have this big triangle pointing towards the left. I have this big triangle pointing towards the right. I've got one pointing up, one pointing down. I've got four little triangles in the middle. Concentrate for the time being on uh, the triangle. If I label this C and label this D, Let's look at triangle ACD. First of all, AC is the same length as AD because they both correspond to the radius of the circles that I drew. Similarly, BC is the same length as BD for the very same reason. Now, if you look at triangle DAC going back to D, that's going to be congruent to DBC going back to D by the side, side, side criterion. Both of those triangles share this base, CD, so those two triangles are equivalent to each other. That means that this angle down here would be the same as this angle, and it also means that this angle here is the same as this angle. But note also that these triangles are isosceles, and therefore their base angles are equal. So not only are these two equal to each other, but they're each equal to these down there, as I've just illustrated. All right, now let's concentrate on triangle ACE and triangle BCE. In other words, forget the bottom half of this picture for the time being. Well, <clears throat> uh, triangle ACBA is isosceles because these two sides are equal to each other, and therefore their base angles are equal to each other. Let's call that beta, and let's call that beta. All right. Now I've got angle, side, angle being equal to angle, side, angle, and therefore triangle ACEA is congruent to BCEB. Therefore the corresponding sides are equal, and in particular A to E is the same as E to B QED. That's exactly what we wanted to show, that this line CD bisects the line AB. I trust that you are now convinced of that. But don't stop there. I want to go a bit further. I want to show that not only is this a bisector, but it's a perpendicular bisector. That is, I would like to show that this is a right angle and this is a right angle. But notice this. Both of these angles are the same as each other by the congruence of these two triangles. And they're, since they're equal to each other, and since together they form a straight angle, and since a straight angle is two right angles, each of these must be a right angle. Therefore, not only have I demonstrated how to bisect the line AB, I've demonstrated how to bisect the line AB with a perpendicular.